Salawal, salawal, y'all from Robin. We would you like to talk to from Robin. Once you're going to pop up, down, pop back on the break. And to the east, give our praise for it too. Yeah, I will. Well, I said, y'all, God, 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 you, know, you got your favorite boy, Elon Musk. He's already issued it out. But he issued out, he issued out that neural link. What you've been telling, that's in Israel, is the MOTV. Ain't no coming here, you know, in a minute, a couple of years, in a year. He already ran, what's it, got FDA approval. He already retrofitted into certain people. And uh, they talking about it's running good, or the recovery. So you already know what's next, y'all. So I didn't need a perfect crisis. And they're gonna start, you know, get their celebrities to promote it. You know, Jake Simple, everybody gonna run and go get it like they did the other thing. And it's gonna be right here in our face, man. At the same time, the dollar's collapsing. So you already know they're gonna get ready for the, the CBDC, Central Bank Digital Currency. And hey, Revelation chapter 13 is hurt. So I've got an article. You're gonna check it out by Elon Musk. All right, so this is an article on uh, neuroscience.news.com. And and reading from the summary of the article, it says Elon Musk announced the first human has been successfully implanted with the neural link brain GHIV aimed to telepathy, telepathy, like the telepathy, aiming to allow severe for physical disabled individuals to control the body via thought. The FDA approved trial focused on the implant potential for movement control with the patient orderly recovering well. And to vomit, vomiting initial results. Neural link vision is intended to from providing immediate medical aid to enhance human cognitive, sensory capability. In the long run, this breakthrough triggered a spectrum of scenarios from optimistic widespread adoptions to concern, concern over technological, ethical, ethical and societal implications. Wow. Three main keys of all right, so the, the key factors of this article it says the first human trial of a neural link brain computer interface implant has be, begun following the FDA approval in 2023. The implant named telepathy is designed to help those with severe physical disability control digital device to thought. The project future range from potential medical applications to broader cognitive enhancement amid various societal, ethical, and technological challenges. That's the main thing right there. Right so with that right there, with this device that this devil has conjured up, is going to mess with your thoughts. You know, and with that, you're going to use it as a medical use first. If you can't see, you can see. You can't hear, you can hear. So that's that devil's way of doing miracles in front of the people. Like, as soon as the devil pull up with somebody you can't see and they can see again, Hey, I can, hey, they're going to they go crazy. They're going to line up. Oh, he's sitting here. He's here now. Uh, people that are paralyzed. You know, they can walk again. Just that's about to do miracles, man. He's about to sway the people. So I'm going to come out this right here. But this is Revelation 13 and 14. It says, And deceiving them that dwell on the earth by the means of those miracles which he had power to do in the sight of the, of the beast. Sending them to dwell on the earth, they should make an image of the beast which had the wound by a sword and did sin. So this thing is going to be an idol. It's going to be the image of the beast. The new beast system is going to uh, erect. As he erect, is going to use that micro CHRP as the forefront of it. And when he does those miracles, people are going to run to go get it. It's going to be very popular. They're going to use their celebrities to where they're going to look at us. If you ain't got it, like, man, you a lame. You whack, man. It, it's just you just like, walk around with a phone? Yeah. Yeah, just I was just ready to say it. Just like how people uh, view people with uh, they got Android with people with iPhones, they, they view people with Android. Like, nah, like man, you behind, man. You over down and stuff with your hand. I just said it, it go in just like that. Like we talked uh, before camp, I talking about a thing what you call it, a rabbit on one, a device where you just talk to it, and whatever do the bike you said, y'all the phone gonna be. They are gonna put the phone in your body, so you just holler out your commands. And talk directly to the people. You know, uh, your medical record's gonna be on it. Uh, your money's gonna be on it. 
Uh, you're going to be able to get in your car with it because I bet it's going to link up the room. They're going to link up with the council cars. Right. It's going to be all inclusive. Uh, open your door in the house with it. You know, set the, the thermostat, the climate control in your house with it. Hey, turn your uh, your stove on. Start your, your clothes up in the washing machine. Mm -hmm. oh, yeah. Everything's going to be linked to it. Everybody's going to think it's good. They're like, oh, man, that's smart device. Smart device. Yeah, exactly. They're going to link it all into one. Everybody saw oh, that's good. So that's that's that precept, man. That's the um the means of the miracle. You no, know? they're gonna look at Esau like he's the greatest thing ever, man. Like, man, they so smart, Bill Gates and Elon Musk and Steve Jobs. Y'all niggas is dumb. <laughs> White man is great, you know. And it's gay. And then look, look, then the snare gonna come. And then the minute once that dollar crash, it's gonna be made mandatory to go get it. You mean you can't go in the store with cash. Going store to little debit card or Apple Pay. They're like, no, nah, man. There's already some uh, cities that's already doing that now, where they, they don't accept cash. They, they, they have cities. I think it's in New York. I have to look. I'm, I'm going to have to look. I'm going to put that uh, video on the group chat. But there's a video where a guy was talking about that we need to stand up and say, uh, no more. You know, they're not accepting cash right now. I see. I, 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 I saw the video. They were saying that, uh, you know, like they first. Everybody that's in America, we're going to be at first to be heard all of this stuff. But what they're going to do is all these micro that they give in these fucking statutes to, they're going to want them to put their shit on the chip. They're going to let them know you're going to have to get the chip, and that's how you're going to receive your money from now on, so that they could be the people that's making the transactions in it to hold it up at first. And they'll have enough people that, that is using it so that they can because without that, if, if enough people reject it at first, it'd be hard for them to do it. Yeah. Uh, that's a lot. Yeah. Maybe they got a lot. No, yeah. they got to get it off the ground. And you did it right. So they're going to use people that ain't got nothing to migrants. Yeah. Universal basic income. That's why they give it, give it to them. Yeah. yeah. Give it to them. And that's how you, you got something, like you said, so many people using it, it becomes the main use. Yeah. So now you, you, hey, you either get with it or you get lost. So they're going to be holding it up. You know, exactly. so they, you know, he saw that he's got to have numbers, right? So at first, if he didn't have the migrants, his numbers would see how like a success rate of it would be low as hell because everybody would be like, okay, yeah, I'm ain't doing that. Yeah, a lot of eating might see it. Yeah. A lot of your everyday, uh, red belly Trump support eating, they see it coming. Yeah. And they like, we, we will not have it. They didn't want to do it. Yeah, he's like, okay, we can bring in the migrants. You no, know, we'll just uh, block you out like that. Which it's going to be some civil war. At least they're going to pick his gun up and get the gap in the migrants at that point. That's when they're going to use the robot military. Like, it's all coming in. The, the end is made manifest. You can see how this thing going to roll out. He's going to use the chaos. The migrant, the border crisis, that's the beginning to get it going. And then once it get going, they fight. The people fight back, which is ready for that. That's when the Terminator's going to come out. Robocop going to come out. They're like, we got a new police for it. You know, CB-330. Check them out. You know, he's going to have targeted systems. You know, he's going to blah, blah, blah. Then it's going to be civil war. And then I didn't get that bloodshed. Then everybody else is scared. You're going to have everybody in the system. That's a devil going to want to roll it out. You know, and this, uh, this is how you're going to cause them all. Because it's Revelation 13 and 16. And he calls them all, both small and great, rich and poor, free and bond, which will work on their right hands or in their foreheads. Verse 17. And then no man might buy or sell. Say that he had the mark of the name of the beast or the number of his name. Verse 18. Here is wisdom. Let him that have an understanding count the number of the beast. But it's the number of a man, and his number is 600, three score, and six. And that's Esau Edom, man, so called white man. This is his system. This is his device. It's going to cause all to get it. Everybody's going to be in the system. Basically, it's like the Matrix is going to be reality. For anybody that watched the Matrix movies, which are like my favorite, Esau about to do that, man. You put that microchip, the, the CHIP in your body, you jacked in. Gonna be right on this little radar. He's gonna know where you at, uh, your heart rate, your sugar level, <laughs> what you're doing. You know, it might be so high tech, but they can like use you as a camera to see right through your eye. Like you, you spy on other people's film. And then like they might make the word that I whatever you hear is what Esau here. So you a camera for this devil. You let that micro CHIP in your body. You know, then like what Ox said by that article, it said to telepathy. You know, they will put thoughts in your head. So Esau wants you to go knock somebody off, or you know, you got a couple people over there that's not participate. 
But the first movie, he would get 10 of them go over there and blah, 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 blah. Then memory wipe your butt. You don't know why I'm blood on your shirt. You know? And you're going to do it just like that. Hey, check it out. Hey, what you just said about the medical stuff, that's, that's possible because right now, I know somebody's got a heart transplant and he here in Tulsa. He got like a drinking problem, right? And the motherfuckers, the office is most on the city. If we get the, if it's, if it's blood level, the levels in his blood and stuff, because you know, when you get a heart transplant, the cost stuff is it's insured, right? And that's a lot of money that they're putting in your chest. So they march. If we start drinking too much, they know how much it is drunk, you know, because he's not going to hold it, right? So, you know, he can't stop drinking. So if he starts drinking too much, they'll call him. They'll call him and tell him his blood sugar and all that. It's more from the city to here. That shit is, I don't know, it might be, I don't know how it's connected, it's got to be on mine, but they definitely can put some shit in you and tell all your body functions for sure. Yeah, he already tracked. It blew me up by his CHRP in his board. It blew me up his nurse. The way I know him, and I'm, and not to see out the door, right? And we watch the TV, and I tell my girl, my cousin, if I tell my cousin, that's the right that he couldn't look to your door. And she don't look like this, the uh, right lady that's going to your door. And they already do. They was like, oh, that's that's the nurse. You know, why don't you And he, he said, they got them hooked up. They know all about the stuff. But sitting over there drinking. Yeah, lick this shit. I'm like, you know, my cousin was like, they already know. That's like, I'm sorry. Uh, he can't do that. He can't do that. He can't drink. They didn't invest too much money in giving that heart. That people think, you know, we saw look at the bottom line of everything. We'll give you a heart. But they make the money off of it. That's probably like a hundred thousand dollars that they get. They ain't gonna get you no hundred thousand dollars in our policy. Yeah. Even if they get you hundred thousand dollars in cash, they're gonna be watching to what you do. Yeah, we're monitoring, which goes to why they uh, bring the fibers in. Uh, we're making a point before a camp start up. And they're like, Donald Trump had already said it. What they're gonna do is, if he said he's gonna do the biggest deportation ever in American history, you know, and like I'm looking at it, I believe they're gonna do it on this clock. So what are you gonna do? They're gonna use surveillance system to identify all the bikes that came in here. If they don't go through the proper steps, like Ox said, get that uh that device, they're gonna get deported. And the system's gonna be set up. At first it's gonna be on the migrants. At the ones to get the running successful and he saw get the numbers, then he's gonna use it on citizens that don't have the micro CHRP. And if you don't got the micro CHRP, they're gonna deport your butt right along with it, which you know, that's the truth, like, man, go ahead. I ain't about to get your stuff. I don't want to be in your thing no way, but that's what they're going to do. But see, people that don't believe in your how about you shout, those kingdom coming, you know, they know it's about on the bread. They're going to be, nah, nah, I don't want to leave. You're my own master. They're going to hand out their hand or their head, and you're going to chit chit. Got them. <laughs> they report to this facility. Your camp is 0078. You know, they're going to get their little cubicle, and everything going to be censored out. <laughs> you know, they're going to be living a horrible life. Eat bugs. Like, uh, exactly. And that's how going that's how it's gonna roll out. So uh Nate of I U I C, uh Sabak of H O I, even Knock Mom of W F I. They still were far smoking blacks. But they said that it wasn't no micro CHRP. Like Nate even said it, even, it's Joe. I don't see no micro, you know them things. We like uh, now we see it. It's that provoking, man. They talk about us in mainstream media. And like it ain't it just Elon Musk, he's the front runner, but there's other companies gonna issue out their version of it as well. Hey, hey, you know? they, they, those other companies, they ain't really ready to announce that stuff. They ain't, we really don't know who's being CEO going on. Yeah, you got Black Rock with Synergy. Yeah. They got theirs. Yeah, Big Rock. Uh, yeah, they're gonna announce theirs. They're gonna all get in it, man. So it's gonna be different brands, different, you know. Uh, companies you can get that micro CHRP with, so it's here. It's like the juice here, different companies, man. Get it. Exactly. Different because so now I'm looking at like now what you gonna say? How can you not say? Plus everybody now know about the CBD. Money going digital. Everybody know about that. The dollar crashing. I just read an article about that today. So everybody see all this happening. So the Lord is making everything manifest that He, you know. Gave to us through the scriptures that the apostles and others handed on down. Their micro CHIP is about to be made mandatory. First, it's going to be voluntary. 
Cause they're running like something good. Like it's it's the new wheel. You know, it's the new Jordan right here. You know, Jake, everybody gonna run and go get in and, and be astonished and wow and you know. And then after a while, once he gets so many numbers going and you know the, the crisis is heating up, then they're gonna make it mandatory. Then they're gonna be looking us upside the head like you ain't got no micro CHMP. Man, you whack, man. You can't go to my house unless you got one. You know? Same scenario with the one now situation. That's how it's going to run with this. So now you know who the men of the Lord were. And see, it's good to be versed in this truth. That way, when it comes, like, we already knew it was coming. Now, say if somebody's an IUIC, now they're going to have doubts. Like, dang, man, they was wrong about that. I wonder what else he was wrong about. Now, like, they hold their arm around the whole lady and we'll start chinking up. They ain't armored up. And it's because of that doubt, man. They didn't, they didn't believe in the truth. They really didn't have no argument. They had flash. Exactly. And it's going to, hey, devil can run right through that, man. I know. Wait, huh? And this is um, Psalms 118, 8-9. It is better to trust in the Lord than to put confidence in man. It is better to trust in the Lord than to put confidence in the princes. And the princes that he's talking about is the Reubenites as a child. You know? You trust in what they say, that, that's going to be, you got a long, long calendar. Oh. And, you, oh, and you got stuff in the back. He might have been one created in the valley of the shadow of death. That's what we get ready to get into. The valley of the shadow of death right here. I got another quick scripture right here. This is uh, 2 Thessalonians chapter 2 and verse 7. The oxygen must already go to jail. And it says, uh, for the niche, for the mysteries of iniquity, do it already work. And that, and it says, and only who only he who now let it will let until he be taken out of the way. And the part where it says for the for the mysteries of iniquity, do it already work. We, we're talking about it right now. That whole system right here, that's already in the work. Okay, that's already letting you know that who's gonna get it. We are letting you know that these are the things that you should expect. When they start the issue and mandate that uh, are by the CHIP. In verse 8, and it says, And then shall the wicked be revealed, whom the Lord shall consume with the spirit of his mouth and shall destroy with the brightness of his coming. In verse 9, it says, Even him who come in his hour, the workers of Satan, with all powers and signs and lying wonders. Which is going back into that article, knows the powers and signs and lying wonders, where they're telling you. Get to the fight, you're going to be able to see again. Okay, those are the signs and lying wonders. Okay, those miracles. <laughs> and then in verse 10, and it says, And with all the secrets of unrighteousness and, and them that perish, because they receive not the love of the truth, that they might be saved. Okay, and those are the individuals that's going to go along with the sin. Okay, and in verse 11, it says, For this cause, your howl, by some y'all, 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 send them strong delusions that they should believe a lie. Mm. Oh, do they can believe a lot. Now it's about to run out. Like Hawk said, they're going to run it like it's the best thing ever. You need this to make it. You got to have it. And Jake going to run right there and believe that lot, man. He already believed a lot. He got sweet baby sheets in his head. You know? They think he can say, Lord, forgive me. He saved. So they're going to run it real easy like. It's going to be real easy. You know, of course, for the two-thirds that believe on him. Now, for his own people, Red belly eater mites, they about to bang. That's why Esau need that robotic military group. And he need the new troops. Because he knows we're about to take this easy. Then you got the open elect. So it's going to be some stuff, man. But what he's banking on, he's banking on the miracles and he's banking on the money. Because the normal thing he used to control me was his money. Everybody wants his money system. Esau going to be like, okay, not accepting no more dollars, no credit card, debit card, none of that. You gotta get the bed bed now off the micro CHIP. Only way I'm rolling with it. You might put up a front for a minute. Uh, so they see a car get put on that thing, about to get repo. Yeah, I'm gonna run down there and go get that, that CHIP. I gotta have it. Yeah, they come in too. Well, I'm both, I gotta feed my family. You know, I gotta do what I gotta do. You know, then yeah, everybody start talking to you. What God gonna do for me? I gotta eat. Very well, very well. You said that they all might be damned. Who believe not the truth, but have pleasure and unrighteousness. That's gonna be Jake, man. Jake is like the feet is better. He chases lust. You don't give damn what about the mean artists. We can tell Jake to take that hip micro 
CHIP, you're going to be finished. But since we, you know, lowly dudes on the quarantine, man, man, shut up, bro, nigga. I'm about to go get that micro CHIP. I got to keep my car, my house, my wife. I got to do those things. You know, you ain't you ain't take care of me. The system take care of me. They're going to run and go get it. You know, then they're going to regret getting it because these all still might knock y'all. Like we got too many useless eaters. We need to get rid of 40,000. I don't need that many. This guy, he, he look at the downside. But they said with the Georgia guy stone with the population of 500 million. So this will get the micro CHRP on me. You good. But that was still my change. Hey, go down that block, turn around, and then loud. You know, take you off. You don't need everybody. This thing about to get ugly, man. And it's here. Ain't no more speculation. Ain't no leg stand on how they 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 some bum. They they a bum camp. They don't know what they talk about. It's here in your face. He saw talking about it. Both talk about dude recovering well. You know, he talking about that thing's the greatest thing ever. So this have a coup two and three. But the vision is yet for a point of time. But at the end, it shall speak and not lie. Though it tarry, wait for it because it surely come, it will not tarry. So we at that point in time where the MOTV is here. And now they can't say nothing about it. You know, they they got to you know, dabble in it. They talk about something else. I don't respect the Pastor Paul's writers or something. You know, they can't come against the MOTV no more. And they say at the end, they say, I speak. What's talking right now? MOTV talking. I just read an article talking about the MOTV. That's talking right now. I've seen several articles about that. Dude going viral. Eli Musk is number one dude right now far in America. He's like, I'm going to revolutionize the human race. Because what they want to do is transhumanism. So he wants to change what the most high made into something else. You know, turn your butt to a computer is what he want to do. This is Isaiah 36 and 6. And it reads, it says, Thou trustest in the staff of a broken reed on Egypt, wherein if a man lives, if a man leans, it will go into his hand and pierce it. Ooh. So is Pharaoh the king of Egypt to all those who trust in him. Hear that? Hey, you said if you trust in Egypt, go your hand and pierce it. That's, that's spot on right there. It's gonna be spot on. Because you look at the one that go in the hand, they're going to be pitching out and tattoo bars. And I like how the two states you believe in Egypt. What's modern day Egypt? Modern day Egypt is America. Babylon the Greek. So if you want to be proud of America, we already know what's going to happen. You say, say, you lead into it? Yeah, it says, uh, yeah. it says, Thou trustest in the staff of a broken reed on Egypt, wherein if a man lean, it will go into his hand and pierce him. That may be lean onto America, what America got going, it's going to go in your hand and pierce him. It said, that they trust it on Egypt, man. Huh? So all the two thirds is locked in. You know, the Elon Musk is so great. Bill Gates is great. Steve Jobs. America's greatest country ever. Got the best military ever. Hey, that's going to go into your hand and pierce your hand. All I got is a set of broken reed. This system breaking. I oh, understand you can still trust in this system. You know, uh, the money, economic is messed up. The military is at its weakest point. So I'm like, how can you still have pride in this system? It's like a house of cards. We living in a system where a man don't even know what restroom to go into, while a woman don't know what restroom to go into. Like, you can't define what a woman is. In this country, you got judge can't even find a woman is. Because then you offend the alphabet agenda and they'll get in the uproar. So you can't say what a woman is without offending somebody. Or you say what a man is. Or you say only men go in the men's bathroom. They, oh, no, no. So that's how you at the end. And people want to put their trust in that. You got grown 30 year olds. Like, I seen a dude go out doing a survey talking about how many uh, genders are there in, in the human race. Mean 13, 12. Yeah, you, know, you see that? So they let you know, man, we're at the end. Now, you got college educated people don't know how many genders there are. That means you're stupid. You got look five year olds know that answer. But you got dudes, they get, I got a degree at Harvard. I'm telling you, it's 12 genders. Non educated fool. You know? And you tell them, name them all when they started pan, pan genderism. Like, what the hell is that? So, we're at the end of this thing. It's over with. It's over. You know it's bad. You got to even ask if you see a chick, you got man, she got too much makeup. Were you born a woman? And they might get offended. You can ask that question. Or to too long, you can't ask me that. That's a mess. You go by my pronoun. I am that. You no. Know? I think I'm going to turn you in. 
And they're going to go into that with the same with the DeMarco CHIP. You know, I can see them making a little rap song, little hood rat chicks. Hey, girl, I can't mess with him if he ain't got no micro CHIP. You got to have that neural link. If he ain't got that neural link, I can't. That's a lame thing. I can do that. You know what I'm saying? For a group chat. Listen, listen, listen. 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 Yes, we is getting that thing, bro. Oh, uh, girl, link yesterday. I got the black. I got the synchron today, nigga. The new, the new synchron. Yeah. They gonna look down at you. They just got it in their hand. They get out like free. Yeah, I got the one in the head. I got the five point four upgrade. <laughs> I'm going right to the internet. I got the new black rock, nigga. Cause it coming out next week. I got it today. <laughs> God. Yeah, I got my rock too. Hey, this is Isaiah. On the 30th, too. They have all to go down into Egypt and have not asked at my mouth to strengthen themselves and the strength of the Pharaoh in the trust and the shout of Egypt. Therefore, shall the strength of the Pharaoh be your shame and the trust and the shadow of Egypt be your confusion. You know, I think that's going to be fun for all these churches going down there and getting, you know, the chip, you know, or the brain that flat. And they come down for salvation. That ain't gonna be a ticket you need to get on, you know, them ships on the trial. Yeah. You know, that's gonna be your shame in that day. Yeah. That's why they talk about you can take it out. Take this, that's you just got to ride that shame to the end. Yeah. Now, when the back you up, this is Isaiah 30 and 1. It says, Woe to them rebellious children. It says, Woe to the rebellious children, say of the Lord, that take passes but not a beat and cover with the covering. But not of my spirit, that they may uh, that they may add sin unto sin, that walk to go down to Egypt, to have asked of my mouth to strengthen themselves in the strength of Pharaoh, to the one that trusts in the shadows of Egypt. What you be read? I just wanted to read the first part of it. No, it's, that's just heavy right there, and that's the children of uh, Israel. Because most two um, most two thirds don't know nothing about it. But you got the uh, average six pack, you know, white white. Trump supporter, he know. So that's that's Jake that don't know. That one is uh going down to Egypt for help. Just trusting in uh just trusting in Egypt. The Lord gonna have uh who said woe to them, uh the rebellious children. And that's the Lord. Like we're his children, they not his children, they supposed to do that. You don't know. You're supposed to serve your high boss your shot. You follow after him, well you should go. That's our life, man. Let the people go and go get that micro CHRP. You just imagine not to go to you know, they said take counsel, but not of me. So they they taking counsel of, of the world, but like they shun the conferences out on the highways and byways, just telling them the right things. So prophet shining up, you have my shadow shot. We took the helping hand. We tell you what the devil about to do. Uh, I can go get that. Yeah, I got I got right here. This is back on with your dog. We're here in a lot. This is uh, Second Timothy chapter three, verse one. And it said, This know also that in the last days, fairly time shall come. All right, and those fairly goes into uh, danger and hard to bear. So, those times are going to come whenever they change up the money system. Those are going to be times that are going to be hard to bear and they're going to become dangerous. But a lot of people are going to lack food, they're going to lack money to provide the needs. So, they're, they're going to be, you know, they're going to bug out. All right. And in verse two, it's pretty much how the mindset of all of those people that trust in the shadow of the this is the mindset of those people. Verse 2, it says, For men shall be lovers of their own selves, covetous, boasting, proud, blasphemous, disobedient to parents, unthankful, unholy, without natural affection, truth breaking, false accusers, encountering, fear, despising of those that are good. All right, and then by urging, it says, despising of those that are good, we'll be going into the man of the Lord. Okay, the, the elect men. Men, women, and children of your how about the all child. Okay? And it said traitor, petty, high minded, lovers, pleasure, more lovers of pleasure, more than the lovers of your how about the all child, having a form of godliness, but denying the power thereof, but such turn away. That's what the oxygen is going into. Like we're telling you, hey, this is uh this RFID DHIP is coming, do not take it. But they they're gonna turn away. Okay, they're gonna go get it. All right, and then verse 10, and it says, For 
for uh for her big sword are they with freak into houses and they're captain chili women women lady with sin that way we child the life and if they're ever learning and never able to come to the knowledge of the truth okay and that and that's going to do they're turning away from your how about your child they always learning from different doctors and so on and so forth and they're not able to come to the knowledge of the truth which is the, the Bible way right it's the words of your about your child uh. But let you know right there, man, the devil. Man, he look, he's looking to see who he can get. This they last little hurrah. So the reason why they're doing this, I'm gonna go get it. The reason why this Esau is doing it is because he want to stay in leadership. But this Psalm 49 11 says their inward thought is that the house should continue forever and their dwelling place in all generations. They should call the land after their own name. So this devil wants to keep ruling forever. He wants to offset the marriage of the lamb. You know, which the marriage is the children of Israel who represent that their woman and that man represent Yahweh Shah. Man, we about to connect. You to get beamed up in one of them chariots, you gotta be hey, micro CHIP free. You can't have that, they think you're gonna get on the chariot, man. The Lord is not looking for that. Look for those that's gonna stand stiffly for him and refuse this dang devil. It makes you worthy to get on those chariots. You know, that's why we're about to be tried. That's why he's gonna let Esau do what he's doing. He's gonna start it out, but it's not gonna, you know, it's not gonna last. The Lord gonna rain down on him. What do you think he's gonna capture his enterprise and say he's gonna rain down what he's eating? You know, Lucy Burn praising. So all you gotta do is put your uh, hold out, endure. The Lord tells us that all the time, endure. So why the devil, you know, he's gonna he gonna debase us, you know, probably gonna lose our jobs, lose our houses, lose our cars, but just hold out for your high by shot. But the devil wants everybody to go get it. But once you go get it, it's a penalty for that. The Lord not gonna take you back after that because you bowing down to him. It's basically like you're not a wise virgin no more. Once he put that device in you, that's like you putting this rod in your backside. It's the same thing. I'll put it in the bag you have name on three and one. Woe to the bloody city, which is here in American Babylon the Great. And it says, Woe to the bloody city. It is it is like woe to the bloody city, it is all full of lies and robbery. The prey departed of mine. The who's the prey? The prey is us, uh Yashara. And two thirds of the nation of Israel is not going to depart from this place. They're going to go along right with Esau, even and get chipped up. Man. And just like the scripture said, the uh, the part uh, arise in the part. This is not our rest. Only the elect going to hear that. And uh, the scriptures told us to put their uh, put their own as the elect. So we're going to do what the scriptures say to do. But the two thirds, they're going to go along with it. They departed not from this place, and they're going to uh, they're going to be thrust through right along with Esau. Now they're gonna roll right into it. And ain't like a lot of stuff I be hearing, especially like a nigga on the block, they always say, I ain't got no choice. I ain't got no choice but to get it. I'm like, dang, where the faith then, man? Like, I see the Lord can't do nothing with you. Like Esau, he ain't got to put much pressure. You already ready to go get it. I know people that told me they're gonna go get it, uh, to sacrifice themselves to feed the rest of the family. Uh, yeah, I'm like, that ain't no Yeah, that ain't I'm like, that ain't no The Lord said, uh, I'll feed you. No, I'll say it's the fifth cow. You know, so I'm like, why, why are we just going to trust in the Lord? Why you got to call yourself Ben? You, you're not going to get the glory like you have child. It's not a noble act. You're not going to get nothing for that. You can expect, uh, Jake, not only are they going to give up their family, they're going to they gonna probably kill their family. You know, he's going to get something for that. He's going to yeah. get that second death. Exactly. The they're going to get burnt up. They're going to get that they going to get on no chariot. They're going to be hurt. They're going to look up the chariot. going to look like, nah, he chipped up. No reward know? is going to be a, a death by pain, as the scripture says. Exactly. And then, like, you got people, this is ironic right here, Aki. You got people probably going to start with death with the micro CHIP in their head, or they did. Like, Esau, I thought you said, Esau was like, you damn well know I'm a devil. <laughs> <laughs> I don't honor nothing I say. I'm a snake. He's going to slam the door right on. They're going to be at the thing, like, I got my, my, my thing. they be like, oh, we already meet our quota. Slap. And they were like, they going to feel shy. They're going to feel dumb. Like the story of the woman who nursed the snake back to hell. And the snake <laughs> bit her. And you're like, hey, well, you knew I was a snake. <laughs> That's what he's not gonna do. Hey, we only gonna take 40 or 50. You know, they go like, well, I went, got the I got the hand went and the hand one. They they're gonna just they gonna feel dumb. Yeah, they're gonna feel dumb, man. That's why you shouldn't trust in the Lord. Don't trust in that devil. So that shame ain't gonna come. And then I'm gonna read the penalty for this. 
There's a lot of these other counts that go into the penalty. I've even heard uh, IUIC say you can bench from it. And I'm like, that's totally good for dude. Just Revelation 14 and 10. The same shall drink of the wine of the wrath of Yahweh, which is poured out without mixture into the cup of the nation. Matter of fact, I'm going to bump up and get some, uh, get perfected. I'm going to go with Revelation 14 and 9. So this is uh, Salaki, Revelation 14 and 9. And the third angel followed them saying with a loud voice, if any man worship the beast and his image and receive his mark in his forehead or in his hand. Verse 10, the same shall drink of the wine of the wrath of Yahweh, which is poured out without mixture into the cup of the indignation. It should be tormented with fire and brimstone, they are sick, in the presence of the holy angel and in the presence of the lamb. Ooh, they're going to be made a gazing stop. They're going to be looking at him like, damn, I told you. <laughs> lit on fire, man. And then you say like they eye sockets gonna dissolve where they stand, they tongue gonna burn it, burn out their mouth. It's gonna be radiating fire, man. You don't want to be left here. So you might as well suffer and endure for your how about your child's sake, man. Your house child, Lord Savior, suffer. So we're gonna have to suffer. That's why we fast already. We might go a couple days without eating. You know, we might be off in the woods hiking. Because you looking like I'm looking at it. Yashua, we're not taking the devil MOTB. You know, so they say, oh, you got to take this to work. Uh, uh, that's my last day turning my, hey, I'm done. You know, tell my, tell my old lady, we going to the woods. She don't want to go. Hey, you stay here then. Taking the children, we going to the woods. We we out of here. You know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I can't put y'all to stand. I'm going to be watching. This is after, I don't know, and hopefully they beat the, uh, the chariots. This is Revelation 15 and 2. And I saw as it was see a glass mingled with fire, and them that had gotten the victory over the beast and over his image and over his mark and over the number of his name, stand on the sea of glass, having the arms of the most high. And that, that sea of glass is, is basically the part of it. You know, we're gonna be looking down, you know, from the, the chariots as you know, the United States get lit up like it as you see a part. You don't see all those arrows for the most time hit this place. I got a, I got one in the backyard. This is Nahum uh, 3. I'm going to start at uh, 6. It says, and I will pass, and I will, it says, and I will pass the bottom of the field for Bundy and make thee, uh, make thee bar and will set thee as a gazing sky. That's talking about inside him and those who joined the gist of the world. I mean, they're going to be a gay for some people are looking at them, man. And uh, cause we told them, we told those who uh, want to join the gist of the world, hey, man, don't do that. Y'all are going to be looking at you now, and my people are going to hurt from it. And when you're ready. Okay. All right. So we got the point where we got to endure. We got to really endure. Uh, get ready for the hard times. They coming. I mean, it look like it'll be coming this year. Uh, they about to collapse the dollar, and we got to end because we saw a lot of people that do their job do behind that behind the dollar collapse too. They can't wait. But all of you get the new chat where they talking about uh, uh, by the end of this year, uh, uh, there's more jobs that gonna be shut down. Yeah, the UPS laid out twelve. I've been hearing it every day. They laid out twelve thousand fixed up. Like AI is taking over all the jobs. Yeah. And let us the devil want because you want to put everybody on the universal basic income where you just sit in a cubicle. And you get your little daily allowance. You know, that's what the devil want to do. Going along with that philosophy with Charles Brown, when he said you will own nothing to be happy. Yeah, you're going to be public transportation, you're going to be in a 15 minute city. And hey, you're going to be living like a little mouse or something, you know? You'll sit in your little cubicle. You're going to like basically like a wide open jail. Get a little yard time. You got 15 minutes, run out there, uh, run around, do what you need to do, and then get back to your cubicle. That, 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 uh, ain't over yet. Can't be like, man, I'm over here. I'm trying to get this thing on pink you up now. Nah, man, you over here at the, uh, at the popcorn station. 23 hour lockdown right there. One hour uh, recreation. Exactly. Right here, wide open. Man. That's not freedom. That's worse than what you're going through now. That's why the, the red belly Edomites, the trust, but they're going to fight right now. Because they're not going to go for that. They, they whole thing, you know, they proud of them. They all about freedom. So they, they like, I got the second amendment right. They're going to bust their guns, man. Right? Well, he's already for that. So it's going to be a lot of, like I said earlier, boy, you know, it's going to be a lot of bloodshed trying to get to implement this thing. It's going to be a lot of chaos, a lot of migratory, uh, 
police people here, UN troops over here. Like uh Barack said it earlier, it's gonna be uh tanks rolling down your block, Humvees. This guy's gonna have a hard time trying to really implement this thing. It's gonna be chaos. Hey, yesterday the uh, um from South Carolina doing their camp. It was it was a drone that came. It came close enough to where you could hear it through his microphone on his phone. You know, he was like, he, he said, he was like, I need to go down there and uh, basically watch some drug dealers. But the drone, they already, you know, hooked into the Bluetooth. Well, they catch the signal, they're going to see what's going on. That's why I think they, they got the, the gunshots. That's why the other people, there's all these witness loose people in it. But they can tell exactly where you are, what you're doing, and what you're about. They're they going to be just basically sitting out drone with the people. They, they ain't gonna stop out their hands and come out look for you today to get you identified. Mm -hmm. They're gonna be like, drive like you and your boss, uh, told eight. Mm -hmm. You ever had that big time drone come down, they'll give you a number off. <laughs> if you don't have to fly, they're gonna drop out two, three robots. Yeah. So, you remember that movie? You seen that movie called? I didn't see, I know you're talking about. I seen the preview. I missed yeah, it. Yeah, and they talk about doing another one. I can watch that. Just pay, man. They talk about doing another one. Sure. Yeah, it's, uh, yeah, it's a movie called Cold Eight. Y'all should all of you need something to watch first. What we call code eight that shows how they're gonna do this thing. Uh, as far as they surveillance system, they got drones, the drones got robot soldiers in them. And when you don't comply, they drop them suckers down like a little shock trooper, mm -hmm. and they 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 up in action, you know. And that's that's really gonna uh, make people start, you know, go get that micro CHIP. Man, you imagine two third Drake see the robot drop down, they're gonna run up to that CHIP so fast. Well, I ain't gonna tell you, you better go get that man. I seen a robot turn up little Ray Ray yesterday. You know? Yeah, that's the hunger fear is the next best motivator. Yeah. That, that's Esau's main motivator. Say he about to scare people, man, big time. And they're gonna run and go get it. They don't believe in the Lord. They don't know about the Lord. And they're gonna be telling us, like, you better go get that micro CHIP, man. I seen old Robocop oh, drop he down. Yeah, he gonna kick your door in. <laughs> hey, they're gonna hey, sap everybody. They say he gonna he gonna uh, police uh, everybody. Then they just got it. They gonna tell the ones they don't. Like man, uh, the house down there on the street, man. Tell you, this man ain't got it, man. And they gonna say it like this was that. He holding us back. We trying to uh, get a hundred percent. So I, my thing can, you know, my, my my device can light up, and he holding me back. You know what I'm saying? He's stupid. He a dumb nigga. He, he an ancient dinosaur, and he repeated. And that's how they're gonna do everybody, man. So everybody's gonna be police. So watch the family turn on family. That's gonna happen. You know, that's what, what the scripture says. We're gonna be persecuted. Mm -hmm. Your the whole family's gonna turn you in. Yeah, so you're gonna bring division. Yeah, it's gonna be big time division. Ain't he ain't got no device. He can't come on my house. I'm gonna come to my house, dude. I got the device in there. Uh -huh. Yeah, yeah. Like, you come over here, man. Next thing you know, you're gonna have a robot clock with the door. Okay, come over here. Yeah, you can't come over here. He ain't got the device. He he, he old fashioned. He he wanted them uh the the evil Israelites. He a term. They gonna use that word on him. You get brought down this person right here too. I get the uh, Ecclesiastes, aka Swat, forty three, verse nineteen. It says, "For such a man only fears the eyes of men, and knoweth not the eyes of the Lord." You how about the y'all die or ten thousand times? Brighter than the sun, beholding all the ways of men and considering the most secret part. He knew all things er ever they were created. So also after they were perfected, he looked upon them all. And see that, and that right there, what the opposite is missing is that you got these these gates, you know, they're gonna they're gonna uh, be be so hard hearted, uh, so fixated on he saw he was fixed, they're gonna be they don't have so much fear on all of this AI technology. That they they fail to neglect the eyes of your how about your child, which is ten times about more body than the sun, which meaning that he has the hope the ultimate, he has the, the power. Okay. And that's another scripture was in Matthew 10 and uh was it 36, 36, when when Luke transferred when he said that uh fear not the eye, no, fear not him which are able to kill the body, but rather fear him with able to kill the body and the soul. So when you understand that. That is the heavenly father who actually have the power to kill and make alive and to bring back, you know, to kill, make alive and to heal and move. But the man, he only has the power to kill the body. That's it. That's as far as he goes. 
So you run around trying to be, be afraid of the government system that you're ready to come around, that you know, that, that you have your fear in the wrong place. Yeah, no. uh, so the fear of the Lord is stress. You know, these people don't fear the Lord, they fear Esau. And with that, Esau gonna use that fear like he did the one now situation to scare the people to get the way you want them to go. Really ain't gonna destroy themselves. Kind of like running a uh, pig into a trap, the slaughterhouse. A lot of our people go right to the slaughterhouse because they're too scared. And it's because they don't know the truth. They only know who you have about the or they know Jesus. And with Jesus, there's no prophecy come with that. And the prophecy that did come, they're talking about the rapture. You know, the rapture don't come, they're going, oh no, I gotta, if I get this CHIP, I'll be good. And he's talking like, yeah, you be good. And it's a straight lie. They ain't gonna get them. I'm gonna bring this out right here because it's gonna be us right here. This is uh second Andrews 2 and 44. So I asked the angel, said, Sir, what are these? Verse 45. The answer said unto me, These be they that have put off the mortal clothing and put on the immortal and have confessed the name of your house. Now they crowned and received palms. In verse 46, then said I unto the angel, What young person is that they crowned them and give them palms in their hands? And she house shot. Verse 47 said, So he answered, said unto me, It is the son of Yahweh, whom they confessed in the world. Then began our greatest command them that stood so stiffly for the name of the Lord. So now we got to stand up for Yahweh, but y'all trying to cut that devil out. When he handled that micro CHIP, we got to smack that. Like, man, I ain't getting that. I don't know what that is. You funky devil. He said, I'm not doing that. I'm not about to comply with you. You know? And then he saw, you know, you're going to talk this little talking. Hey, like the scripture said, we got to stand stiffly. You know, they might throw us in prison. A lot of us are gonna get thrown in camps because of that. Like, oh, you ain't gonna get my thing. Let's see, let's see what a couple of days do for you on the slam. You know, let's see how you feel it in. You know, which is uh, what's that? Revelation 2 and 10. Right here. Got it, yeah, you go ahead and bring that one up. Uh, Revelation 2 and 10. And it said, Fear none of those things which thou shalt suffer. Behold, the devil shall cast some of you into prison that ye may be tried, and ye shall have tribulation ten days. Be thou faithful unto death, and I will give thee the crown of life. Ooh, girl, they said, be thou faithful unto death, and I'll give you a crown of life. That devil might put a gun to your head. Talk about get this micro CHIP or else. You know, he might put it to your family head. You know, a lot of us got families in the truth. You know, he might lie your children. I can see the devil doing that, lying your children up. Like, you get this, so I'm about to put it to it. What's up? You no, know? we got to stand stiffly for the Lord at that time, man. Our faith had to kick in. You know, we cannot give in. That's the whole, that's the point now. Now we go to line, we gotta hold. We gotta endure. Because he's all about to go hard. Like he got to come with everything he got. Because this whole this whole rulership depends on this move right here. So he ain't gonna cut no slack. Right now, I got another one right here, because this is that crown of life right here. This is Revelation 3 and 10. And he said, Because thou hast kept the word of my patience, I will also keep thee from the hour of temptation. Which shall come upon all the world to try them that dwell upon the earth. And right there, when he said, when, when we get read in Revelation 2 and 9, when he said, Be thou faithful unto death, and I will give you the crown of life. And then, now in Revelation 3 and 10, and it said, Because you kept the word of his faith, he's going to keep you from the hour of temptation. Okay? So even if you were to die for his word, he's going to give you that. He's going to give you what he's promised you. Okay? And that's the, that's the whole point we're trying to make the make word of you. You can't be fa afraid of the devil, but instead be afraid of the Lord you have out in your job because he's the one that, can, that really have the true power. Yeah, they said they said keep the hour, what did they say? Keep the uh, word of his patience. That's talking about this word right here. Our commandment said it. Well, so I already gave us the guideline on how to deal with Esau Hill, and it's in our book. As they said, put on the immortal clothing. You know, that means your, your mind got to be renewed, you got to change. You know, you can't be thinking like earthly and low level and worldly. You got to think like heavenly thoughts. Because the devil about to go. You know, so you got to look beyond him. You got to look to the kingdom of heaven. You got to look to the Holy One in Israel, which is how shall have at. Look that way. That's going to keep you, you know, what they call it, thing on the post. Keep you on track. The devil, he's going to try to shake us up. He's going to try to scare us. Which we, that's in the future. We already know it's scare tactics. We look at Esau like, what's your move, dude? You want taking all day. You know? Go ahead, come on with you. You got everything. Be ready for life's camera action. You know? But for the young people, it's true. You tell you to read this word. Like, do it like repetitions. 
You know, read the whole word. We just say eat the whole wrong. And once you do that, the whole lot, you know, you're gonna hey, you're gonna have confidence. Your faith is gonna be built up to where you're gonna be looking like us, like man, you saw when you're gonna come with it. You waiting on it, you're dragging your feet. You know, you're gonna know, then you're gonna know Esau's scared. Really? Big devil scared. Colossians 2 and 6. It says, As ye have therefore received the house of Mashiach, the Lord so walk ye in him, rooted and built up in him, and established in his faith, as ye have been taught, abounding therefore with thanksgiving. Hey, you see that? So that back, I think I just said right there. We've got to be rooted and grounded in this thing. Like the Lord looking for those lions, man, that's bold. They're going to tell Esau, no, I'm not getting it. If he saw now, he ain't gonna expect that, man. He looking to run down on some stair jakes. You know, they shaking and stuff. He gonna come to them like, what's that good cop, bad cop? And I wanna help you now. All right, this is this is verse eight. <laughs> Beware of you, any man spoil you through, uh, through philosophy in vain to see. Woo, there you go. <laughs> and after traditions of men, after the rudiments of the world, and not of Yahweh for Mashiach. See, yeah, back it up right there, man. He's gonna try to come for you with that bang, you know, philosophy and deceit. He'll come to you, hey, like the serpent came to eat. You should not really die. Right. You know, you take this device, you're gonna be good. Let me go make you good. You got a nice little queen on the sale. I mean, house, <laughs> you know, and you're gonna be, you and your family gonna be good. And that deal gonna be bad, man. You take that deal, gonna split you up. That's a good movie, too. I ain't seen that. The movie, The Deal. Ah, that's a good. What's that on? Is that on TV? Uh, I think so, or Netflix, one of the two. That's the, the deal. The deal? Basically, the MOTV. If you take the deal, you would get something to eat. But those who took the deal, hey, they still they still was in bad case. They were just like the people on the street, so they took it for no reason. And they ended up getting uh, dying for it. All right. And I remember she took the deal, didn't want her daughter to get it. Exactly. daughter was like, we ain't got no choice. She's like, no, no, no. Don't take the deal. I wish I would never took it. You no, know? and that was a good movie. That was basically a good movie. TV movie. Uh -huh. That's what it's all about. Because the dude that didn't have it, but he's out scrounging, scavenging, uh, living where he can because he didn't take the deal. Mm -hmm. They looked down on everybody that didn't take the deal. Then you take the deal, you get to the front of the line. You get like one hamburger per day or something <laughs> like that. Mm -hmm. You know? And then she's like, man, it was not a good deal, man. Her daughter's looking like, I think my mama take the deal. She was all trying to do set stuff up since she wouldn't have to take it. You know, I feel like your daddy left. I think dad came back, he took the deal too. I forgot what I, I think he was against the deal. Yeah. They found him again and they thought he was gonna get it back. He's like, shit, I took it too. She's like, like, what? what? You talked all that mess. <laughs> yeah. That's the same going to now. Some of them took the deal. Yeah. You know, I didn't get out on the benefits. That shit just played out. They took the crime. And they hear talking about that. I just need to stay no problem. Exactly. Starting just like that, I'm ready to go back to the hood. Yeah, well, sure up. Yeah. Monique about to pull up Shakespeare. Yeah, I'll okay. She's gonna do Saint Day Cat Williams. Mm -hmm. I'm ready to hear it. She's probably bad mouth Oprah tell us more little stuff we need to. I said Hollywood break it. When he's all ready for that, because he's just gonna use AI. He ain't gonna pay actors and all that no more. So Hollywood is all done. And with that, you're gonna see more and more celebrities come out and be like. He me with two hours for cows. He had me in the room and I had to do this and do that. Then the dudes come out and just tell the prayer, but he gave too much money. They came out with candidate statements, but it's all coming out. Yeah. That, like Hawk said, that's a deal. Yeah, this, this is the purpose. Uh, Y'all brought this down right here. This is uh, Second Edge, chapter 9 and verse 9. And it said, Then shall they be in pitiful case, which now have abused my way, and they that have cast them away despitefully shall be well in torment. And it says, for such in their life have received benefit and have not known me. And, and it said, and they that have loathed my law while they yet while they had yet liberty, when when as they yet played for the pitches was open up them, understood not, but despised it. It's been not trusting in the Lord. You no, know? opening them, telling the words for all his life, come in and get this truth. You no, know, Lord, what are you trying to hope for that? Get salvation, but they like, I think I'm gonna go take that deal with Esau. They want to take reward on this side. Exactly. Then they go get the deal and they come back, man. My booty hurt, man. It wasn't a good deal. <laughs> and well, I got good. a bad taste in my mouth. You know, uh, and then they want to cry, like, want some sympathy. I'm like, bro, you could just say no. 
You did that for that big twenty million dollar bag. They wanted the crumbs off the rich man's table instead of waiting on the Lord and getting the whole box. Exactly. Uh, right. Yeah, right. Right. They do it to Jake every day. I'm pissed off. Oh, so okay. Yeah, they, they offered it every day. Jake right now taking that deal, getting gunned mm-hmm. down. Film. I remember that new Starship, Lord. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I remember him, too. Uh, too. He yeah. said, I say. <laughs> hey, hey, as soon as he said, we're over with. So you did all that for nothing. For nothing. He didn't release no CD or nothing. He came out and told what he did. Uh, this is a young dude. He told what he did to Birdman to get the record deal. You ain't going to tell that. So as soon as the deal was over with, he didn't get to release one CD. He took him to the He did everything. Hey, tattooed the record label on the yeah, old side of the city. I'm talking about the dude from the city. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Simeon? 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 Yeah, Simeon? Yeah, Simeon. Yeah. And, uh, and then verse 12. And they're going back and they say, And the thing must know it after death by man. Those are all those individuals that decided to take that deal going, going on with Esau, Edom, and Tiffany. They're going to know it after death by man. And now he's about to give everybody a deal. And Michael CHRP is a deal for everybody. Right. They only do select, you know, celebrities, none of that. Everybody, see, he calls them all. That, that's all that great. Down with great rap like Richard that. Poor, yeah, everybody got to get. If you want to be in my system, my system is great. There's this and that. You can eat crickets, bugs, but you got to get the micro CHIP. You got like I said, give you a little closet, you know, 12 by 12. Yeah, with a little TV. Lock, lock at a certain time. Yeah. Hey, the little fifteen minute city somewhere. That's 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 what you gotta look forward to. That's it's not a good deal. I gotta look at Jake like Jake is a special type of retarded. Because he's not telling you it's not a good deal. Well, you how about shooting outside? You can inherit the whole earth. Exactly. But you want you want uh, to live in a line or a cubicle or a fifteen minute city. God, the devil gonna zap you for the comforts of uh of this world. Man. So, hey, you ain't got your mask on. You get zapped or beat. You know, uh, you, you bet you're going to be on lockdown. It's going to be a big worldwide prison, what you saw want to do. But, hey, y'all saw I got other plans. Man. The church will get to knocking this stuff down. But ICBM is going to go off because they ain't not going to get along. The Edith Mike's are not going to get along. You know, they might be doing this to set the plan up in a minute. Russia might be like, I, I'm the world power. But the very like, hey, that ain't one part of the deal. Why I'm saying, man, both of y'all broke. I should be running it. Hey, they, they, they going to run now. Hey, ready my missiles, you know? I got another quick up, man. Uh, the God just said something that just made me think of the freak up right here. This is uh, John 10 and 10. It says, The thief cometh not but to, but to kill and to kill and to destroy. And it says, I am come that they might have life and that they might have it more abundant. Yeah, and then in verse 11, it says, And I am the good shepherd, and the good shepherd giveth his life for the sheep. But the God points back to uh, Yahweh Shah, Yahweh Shah about the ark. Okay, so he said, the thief comes to steal, kill, and destroy. And what is the thief get ready to do? We got, got to set up that deal, okay? And then he's going to steal, kill, and destroy your life. He's going to steal your birthright and bliss. There you right. go. Steal your salvation. And he's about to get stolen now. All right, all right. Again, now Yahweh Shah, when he's going to come, he said, I come to give you life, and I come to give you more abundance. Just like the ark is dead, he's trying to give you the whole earth. Which is life, all the resources. You're gonna give us everything our heart desires. So why the hell would I want this devil guy, man? I feel it's offensive with the devil trying to harm. You know, I feel the pity, you know. You know, give me some time for me. I'm gonna I'm gonna think my mind I'm gonna tell the devil, like, man, come close, real quick, come real close, man. I need to show this right here, and they just hey, like I said, put the powder up and just smile. You think I'm about to accept that? Some crack streets. Yeah. Get out of here. You feel like you gave my 40 acres in the field, man. You know, give me some polluted hair. Yeah. Some crickets. Like, man, that's offensive. And then, like, like I said, my mother said, but I'll feed a whole world. He saw can't give me what I want. You ain't got what I want. You just in the way. I think he saw you in the way. We waiting on your house. Try to come stomp your butt out. They said, we waiting on he saw to get messed up. So I say he. He might as well just come like, you know, trying to walk me out the back like, yeah, you better go off beat You already know the answer. Look at that. I'm going to look at E like you already know the answer. I'm not taking that. So we might as well, you know, we might as well, hey, get ready to throw him up, man. What, what you doing from shit? 
the drug deal fight. I'm not going for it. You know, we'll see then. You know, we're looking for uh, the power of the Lord. We're looking for those miracles coming off the hat. We don't serve them. Because all it takes is one chariot. One chariot can take out all the Esau military. You no. Know? So we're going to go with that point. We're not going to comply with what Esau wants to comply with. You're not putting in too much work. I'll be damned if I bow down to take your little. You go shitty deal. It's a shitty deal. You know the scripture. You studied it. I mean, we hate the whole road. The scripture said, hey, he's gonna lift up a standard. Exactly. Yeah, we waiting on that. Uh, Fuck your deal if your standard gonna get lifted. <laughs> I said pick nine nineteen. I got I got to read about favorite preach now too, man. This is uh two and one. And it said, My son, if thou come to serve the Lord, prepare thy soul for temptation. And that's that's what this that's what this is all about, it's the preparation. So our souls to be tempted by these damn devils. Because now about y'all child said he's gonna tempt us. All right, and he jumped down to verse five, and he said, For gold is tried in the fire, and acceptable man in the furnace of that virtue. All right, we're trying to be acceptable in the eyes of your about y'all child, which he's gonna be uh lift up that that standard, but he's gonna also bring that that furnace of that virtue upon the man of the Lord. Okay. And those who refuse to go along with they're going to be destroyed. That's the same exact way in 13 today. And then part of that five verses, no food, no houses, no car. That's why I love it. It's the beauty of the scriptures. Like, we already know that they're going to tip us with. We already know the temptation. So it's not going to be nothing new to us. We're looking like, okay, we already know your food. So come on, you know, read, read the stuff. I already know what you're going to tip me with. And now it's going to be no. Not rolling with you look at the chair, look at salvation. I'm looking to get away from you. I'm looking to come into your system and then let you put me in some transhumanism and stuff. So people want comfort and com uh, comfortability. But we hey, just look at your forefathers of old. Hey, they had nothing. They they lived out in the woods and the desert and right. tents, man. All right. Hey, look up for apartment just the 12 by 12. Hey man, I'm I'll be outside in the tent. They was my forefathers in shack. With slavery, you know, he saw had them in little shacks like little dogs. You bring them out, they ready to work. Hey, you know, that twelve by twelve, that shit gonna be in the dorm. They ain't gonna have no individual twelve by twelve. They shit just gonna have a uh, a little wall between they twelve by twelve. They gonna they gonna house that. That's gonna be the new ghetto. You know, like I just said, uh, off the cubic. Yeah, it's gonna be off the cubic. Hey, that's it. You know, you ain't gonna have your own door. Yeah. So why the heck would you take that deal? Take that American CHIP and miss out on salvation. You get more, you get the planets. Like, not just the earth, we're going to be able to get you out of the different planets. You know, had your own cherry. Everybody, look, man, she saw stuff at low level, man. It's decrepit. It's, it's really no good. You know, you look for Esau to get stomped out. You look for real quick, man. It's in uh, the Hot God that mentioned uh, the generation of old. It's uh, Spot, chapter 2, verse 10. And it says, look at the generations of old and see did ever any trust in the Lord, Yahweh Bati Yahshai, and was confounded, or did any abide in his fear and was forsaken, or whom did he ever despise that called upon him? And verse 11 will be the point. And it said, for the Lord, Yahweh Bati Yahshai, is full of compassion and mercy, long suffering, and very pitiful, and forgiving sin and saving in the time of affliction. And see right there, and that's what he's talking about. He said he's going to save us in a time of affliction. Okay? And then when you go back and look at the generation of the old, you can actually see there's a time of affliction that was uh that was based on the, the three holy children. And he saved us in that time of you know, see David, it's all so for. All you gotta do is go back and look. And so that right there to uh, be able to boost your confidence and your how about you now down to let us know that when we go through these trials and tribulations. He's going to save us in that time of the fleet. This is second address 9 and 5. But like as all that is made in the world have a beginning and an end, the end is manifest. And we know the end. Man. We already know he's going to come to the MOTB system. Basically, it be made mandatory. We at the dead end right there. All we got to do is endure and hold strong, like hold out. Hold the line, because we at the end right there. You already know how it's going to play out in the scriptures. So we heard. I said, ain't no more for debate. Look, we first got the truth. You know, WFI, how you going to see if a stand on? It ain't that. It's sin. MOTV is sin. MOTV is the white women. It's embargo. 
know, man. They must be is here. And it's a micro CHI like our Apostle Elder said it is. And now it's been promoted. They're, they're putting it out there like it's the best thing ever. And then the money is getting promoted about to go digital. So you put one and one together, it makes two. There it go. The end made manifest. We know the end. We know Esau's end. And that's what got him so mad and so butthurt. Because he like, who told these niggas? Now how can I run it on them? They already know what I'm about to do. It's hard to pull off a trick. Somebody know your tricks, you know what I'm saying? Or to pull somebody, you already know about it. Like, that's like a, a, a bad magician. He was like, hey, man, we see that spoon up the sleeve, man. <laughs> <laughs> hey, we see it. We just call it out. Look at them dummy legs under the curtain. You ain't slicing that half. Them are dummy legs. You know what I'm saying? My cousin told me about that, you know? And with it alive. Exactly. Pull back the curtain. Nah, no, I ain't playing no little, little. So now the devil frustrated. So it's going to be, uh, he's going to have a campaign where he's going to say, these people got to just be knocked off. Yeah, the red list. They already said it. You know, that Israeli lady that said the yeah. threat to Israel is just the done after the best community. Yeah, so they got a, they got a list, man. They're going to try to all people that they know and can comply. And with that, they fear they're going to use the, the other two thirds to, to scare them and to get the MOTV. And a lot of the majority, like the say, two thirds of our nation, they're going to go get it. They're going to go get it. Only the whole neck are not going to go get that. You know, I, I, I believe any of you lose your life still rise during the first resurrection, so it's better to go out that way. That's an honorable death versus taking the MOTB and getting a dishonorable death. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah, like I said, that's a high honor, you know, to, to put your life on line for this truth. And that's how you need to go with it. And with that, it makes it where you're really not afraid like that. You're like, okay, you know it's going to play out. You know, either way it go, as long as I don't comply with you, I win. That's all I got to do is not comply with you. Knowing and then we this, already know about you. Yeah, knowing this truth is easy for you because you know death isn't the end all be all. It just means you're sleeping with your pockets, like the scripture said. It's rest, actually. It's actually mercy. And really think about it. If you want to tell them you have about me all the time, you really think about how he has their power to, even if he thought it was to take you out to kill the body, to have you bother your house, and it's only begotten son, how the power to rise you right back up. Yeah, they, they stoned this man. They yeah. tried to kill him so many times, and the Lord just kept rising him up. Man. Yeah. 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 They said, brother, might get a business to do that. Exactly. And that's why I was just like, if you really think about how when, when the Messiah really walked the earth, you can see that the heavenly father, Yahweh, basically manifest his power through Yahweh, by the Yahweh, not through Yahweh, down by the Yahweh. But so when he was killed, and guess what? He brought back the line. That was his power right there. There had no other power. Besides, I guess the father was the same house. That's, that's how it is. That's where we at, man. The devil about to run it out. We done told you his whole game plan. He's been made first. So it's not no secret. It's not no if and buts about it. He's going to roll it out there, and we're going to get to see who, who can fly and who don't can fly. You know, Lord willing, we all part of the whole food leg. If we get that salvation deliverance that we so, you know, so hopefully see. So with that being said, we hope this has been edifying. Want to give our praise for it too? Hey, stay locked in. Scripture said we got the victory, man. We got the victory. Stay stuck. A lot of people tuning in. Shalom,